So there's a strong relationship between urban water resilience and the overall resilience of a city. We're aware that many cities uh, around the world are going through uh, extreme water challenges, and that may be too much water, it may be too little water, so flooding or water scarcity. At the moment there are a number of approaches to bring together uh, and understand urban water resilience, but there isn't an end-to-end -end process that takes you from the early um, understanding the catchment and city, moving forward to the full diagnostic suite, linking in to, um, with the city resilience index, uh, and then showcasing uh, and highlighting other tools that are available, uh, and moving forward into the inter intervention phase. The CWRA is for um, the stakeholders involved in urban water resilience. So as a practitioner, it will allow you to diagnose urban water resilience. It will bring together, help bring together and convene um, the key stakeholders for urban water resilience. But it allows you then to interact with um, the city, its wider catchment, with corporates, public and private entities to uh, first of all diagnose uh, urban water resilience, but then moving forward to do something about it to enhance the urban water resilience of your city and catchment. The approach includes um, a five steps, effectively understanding the hydrological water cycle, the catchment which the city uh, sits within, but then it brings together all the key stakeholders who have uh, an interest in water. Together, um, they co-design and understand together the, uh, a diagnostic about understanding uh, urban water, the urban water cycle for that city. Uh, and then it moves forward into the action planning to enhance resilience. And then it moves into actual implementation of the projects uh, that will enhance um, uh, the resilience of a water cycle and um, uh, monitoring and, and evaluation. The framework itself is just one component of the um, city water resilience approach. It's the um, diagnostic phase. So what it is, is bringing together a collective knowledge and understanding about uh, where a city within its catchment sits in terms of urban water resilience. But it also starts to understand where the shocks and vulnerabilities that a city might um, um, be vulnerable to, uh, how that affects urban water resilience over time. And it begins to understand where the, the gaps are in terms of urban resilience and starts to think about what implementation of uh, interventions might look like. Our water is part of the early phase of the city water resilience uh, approach. It brings together um, the key stakeholders for uh, the catchment but also the city and allows those key stakeholders to understand the roles and responsibilities of, of each other but it also identifies any gaps that um, might, a city may have in terms of its governance. All the um, tools and the methodology are available online. So our water is available, um, it's a digital online uh, digital support tool, uh, but also all the documentation to help you with the city water resilience approach is available. We're also in the process of creating a community of practitioners who will um, be able to uh, access this information, but also will be able to act on it in their own cities to enhance uh, urban water resilience.